I'm Sanjana, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to verify the prerequisites to be met for an instance to appear under Managed Instances in the AWS Systems Manager console. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the three prerequisites you must check before you can make sure that your instance appears in the SSM console. As you can see, I'm already logged into the AWS Management Console. Now, navigate to the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Console and choose Instances on the left navigation pane. I'm taking an example of a Red Hat 7.7 .7 EC2 instance. Connect to your instance using SSH and run a command to check the status of the SSM agent. As you can see, the SSM agent is not installed on my instance. So I'm going to install the SSM agent using this command. After the SSM agent is installed, let's check if the agent is running or not. As you can see, the SSM agent is in running state and we have met the first prerequisite. You can do the same checks and installation if you are using a Windows EC2 instance following our documentation related to Windows. Next, let's test if we have connectivity to Systems Manager endpoints on port 443. We're going to test this using telnet command for all the endpoints. I'm testing the connectivity to endpoints in the North Virginia region. I'm successfully able to connect to these endpoints. In case you are unable to do so, please be sure that the security groups, network ACLs, and route tables associated with your instance have the outbound connections allowed for the port 443. As you can see, the security group and network ACL have port 443 allowed. Now, let's check the route table and you can see that I'm using an internet gateway which is configured correctly. If you're using a private instance, make sure that the NAT gateway allows outbound connection for port 443. You can also configure virtual private cloud endpoints to reach systems manager endpoints. Doing so enables you to privately access Amazon EC2 and Systems Manager APIs using private IP addresses. After you've verified that the connectivity to these endpoints are in place, let's look into the next prerequisite. Next, let's attach an AWS Identity and Access Management role to the instance so that we can use APIs to call a Systems Manager endpoint. Make sure that the default policy Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core is attached to the IAM role. Let's navigate to Roles and then choose Create Role. Now choose the AWS service and select EC2. Choose Next. On this page, search for default policy Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core and select the policy. After you do this, choose Next. Now you can add a tag if you want. Then go to the next page. Here enter an appropriate role name and description. Finally. Choose Create Role.
If you're using a custom IAM role, make sure that the appropriate permissions present in the default policy are in place with your custom IAM policy. Now, with the last prerequisite, let's verify the connectivity to the instance metadata service using the telnet command. As you can see, I'm successfully able to connect to the instance metadata service. Next, let's restart the SSM agent using this command. We restart the SSM agent for the configuration to take effect immediately. Finally, let's check the managed instances under Systems Manager console. As you can see, my instance is now visible here. That's it. These are the prerequisites to be met for your instance to appear under the managed instances in the Systems Manager console. If you are still facing trouble to get this done, you can review the SSM agent logs to further check on this. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.